first unit of study this year in earth science was weather. Students learned about weather tools and factors, as well as big weather events such as thunderstorms, tornadoes, and hurricanes. In class, students practiced tracking hurricanes and kept a close eye out on the path of Hurricane Laura as it approached the U.S. Uh, this pretty much coincided with the first day of school. The culminating weather activity was a STEM project in which seventh graders worked in small groups to build a structure that could withstand hurricane force winds. This activity begins with a brainstorming session where the kids come up with a list of things that could or would cause damage to a house during a hurricane. Kids came up with a list that included high winds, storm surges, flooding, power outages, and torrential rainfall. Then they came up with ways to make a house that could withstand hurricane force winds. Ideas included reinforced walls, hurricane shutters, and the shape of the building. Students were then given a list of building materials and construction constraints. The house had to be at least 2,000 cubic centimeters or more, and it had to include two windows and a door. Then they drew their pl house plans and listed the dimensions before actually building the house. Due to the unique design of the houses, many students used volume formulas for cones, pyramids, and spheres. Finally, it was time to test. A leaf blower was used to replicate hurricane force winds. The ability of the house to withstand hurricane force winds was judged by how close the leaf blower could get to the house before the house was destroyed. Fifteen feet was a category one, twelve feet a category two, etc. To wrap up the activity, students discussed what worked and what didn't with regards to stability. Kids also discussed how building a simple model could be applied to real buildings. The science aspect, if you're thinking of STEM, science would be what are hurricanes, what causes them, how difficult are they to predict, and how can we stay safe. Technology was when we tracked the hurricane and we did research hurricanes for safe houses. Engineering was actually building the hurricane house. And math, we used the formulas to calculate the 2,000 cubic centimeters. Awesome, now do this one longer, I'll tell you when to stop. Turbo. Be good. Okay, so now guys just have your finger on the um, base, like right there. Yeah. Okay, it's about five oh, seconds. No. This is a category four. <laughs> and we have a two. <laughs> Gotta do the turbo. And a <laughs> I'll tell you, I am so disappointed that we are not just one. Ha 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 ha!